praise, Spartan. What's up guys, Craze back again, playing on Skyline of course, and this is Lightning Flag. I don't know if you guys remember Lightning Flag at all, but I liked Lightning Flag back when Halo 4 was in his prime. And I don't know if Halo 4 ever truly did have a prime, but um, uh, this was actually one of the fun little game types that 343 created. Well, I'd actually I don't even know if 343 created it. I want to say this is actually a modded game type that was adapted. I think that's the case, even though 343 uh, definitely says, no, we're not going to talk about mods in Halo 4. Because people wanted game types, and they uh, figured out how to mod it, and then they modded it. Uh, I believe there was an actual uh, mod for the gun game, which was incredibly fun. I love that game. Uh, if you don't know what gun game is, uh, basically it is... Ooh, I got it dead. Uh, <laughs> You start off with uh, just a, a list of weapons, and then every time you get a kill, you go on to the next weapon. Uh, and if you get stuck with a grenade, you go back a weapon until you get to the final kill. And then whoever gets there first uh, gets a kill with all the weapons. Um, they win the match. And that's definitely a game I would love to see, but it was a modded game type. So it never really officially made it into the uh, Halo 4 playlist, but you could do it on custom games, which was awesome. I love that. They never did really crack down on that for custom games, even though they did bring a couple other things back. Uh, what was the other one? Metal Madness? That was a modded game type. We all know that was a modded game type. Uh, Lightning Flag is a modded game type, as you're watching right here, because uh, all you had to do was walk over the flag and you would pick it up so you would do that or you could walk over the flag and it would return it but you didn't lose you didn't go to the flag number. didn't look like you were carrying a flag uh, so and every time you got shot doesn't matter for got shot in the toe or shot shot in the head you died uh, so definitely uh, was kind of a cool little game type the only problem I really had with it was the uh, auto turret the auto turret would sit there and do on the spawns. They would plant it on the spawns, and then you would just get spawned dead, like, immediately. And they would sit on the other spawn, the opposite spawns, so it would force you to spawn on that particular spawn. It was kind of fun. It, <laughs> it was not... Well, actually, that part wasn't fun. That was actually quite irritating. Uh, to just spawn die repeatedly over and over and over and over again just to an auto turret. Because if you were shot at all, you die, as you can see. And it had this really cool little effect, too, like the grunt uh, uh, the grunt thing. Which was, seriously, why do you have an armor, armor effects returned? Uh, I know Reach wasn't perfect by any means, but it did so many cool little things here and there. Uh, and I would actually really love to see Halo Reach return and, and go into the MCC. But maybe, maybe, that'd be nice. But honestly, I wanted to talk about something today. And even though I've rambled on for half the video already, uh, just about some mods and stuff. I want to talk about the very first flight of the MCC has come and gone. And unfortunately, I was not able to participate. I was so sad, so sad. I actually sent out some some sad face gifts a little bit with the, like the cat or the Puss in Boots cat giving the eyes and and uh, <laughs> I see all my friends playing or well, at least a bunch of my friends playing the MCC Insider uh, and I, just, <laughs> I sent out another one that's uh, just when I see my friends playing MCC Insider and then I just had a picture of myself uh, out in the cold the wind blowing I just, I just want to play. Somebody let me play. Well, unfortunately, that just didn't happen. Oh well. Hopefully, hopefully, uh, we'll get that uh, here soon, which would be really nice. Really nice to have. Uh, get the second MCC flight, and that's honestly that. This is just amazing. I'm so glad that they're finally really giving MCC the attention it needs. Look at that nice little double kill. And so we can get and play MCC the way it should have been on day one. And I really wish they would have waited uh, to finish that game. 
uh, before they launched and had all this stuff figured out when they actually had a full team and not just a small dedicated hardcore team on it. They actually had a full team working on this stuff would have been really nice to have. But I suppose uh, anything is better than nothing at this point. So I'm really looking forward to seeing this come through, come to fruition, and we're going to have a fully functional, fully awesome uh, MCC with hopefully upgraded features. I'm talking some of the best features that ever came to Halo, and I'm talking things like challenges coming back. Grant, I'm not going to say that's going to happen, but it would be really nice if it did. Uh, challenges. Uh, and I mean, if you guys played Halo Reach, that's another one of the things I loved about Halo Reach is the daily challenges. Uh, the daily, weekly, and Halo 4 added monthly, but they were kind of irrelevant uh, within a month. Uh, so that just really didn't matter. Uh, but for Halo Reach, though, if you wanted to level up at all, you really had to do that. You had to get your challenges in uh, and get some playtime every day. And it did. It brought me back to play every day. And it got me into the campaigns uh, all the time. And to play the campaign in different ways. I want to play with the jetpacks or played. I had to get jetpacks while uh, shoot, getting headshots with jetpacks. I remember that specific challenge. Um just really cool fun stuff just and, and get into firefight man wouldn't that be nice get firefight i'm hoping but i don't think that's going to happen but that would be really awesome to get a true firefight uh, get odst firefight and halo reach firefight hey just hoping <laughs> anyways i mean that's really kind of the stuff i'm really hoping that's going to happen and we're going to see we're going to see uh, the second flighting, we don't know when that's going to happen. I'm guessing, and this is a pretty large guess, is in a couple weeks yet. Because uh, they just did it this weekend. I'm probably going to reassess, reevaluate, go through and find them, them bugs that they found. Uh, hopefully those people that did participate uh, are jumping in and to the survey, reporting any and all bugs that they can find or have seen that way. Uh, they're going to have a little something going on uh, for that. That would just be really nice to have. So soon. Soon. Uh, I don't know when it's going to go official. Uh, I'm hoping we're going to have it officially released, the, the whole patch and, and with all the repairs by E3. But I think I'm dreaming there because E3 is next month. E3 is next month. Ooh, ooh. Ow, ow, ow. Ooh, got him. That's kind of crazy. E3 is next month already. And we're going to finally, finally see some Halo 6 news. Uh, and we might even get some hints every now and then uh, coming up soon. But I think we're officially going to get some Halo 6 news. And possibly a couple more surprises. So who knows? So that's awesome, guys. Well, anyways, this video is just about ready to wrap up. I hope you enjoyed the gameplay. Because this is actually really fun to play. Uh, this is on Action Sack, by the way, so go ahead and jump into that. This is Crazed. I'm out of here. Comment, like, and subscribe.